Let me tell you, we have a new star. A star is born, Elon. He's a character, he's a special guy, he's a super genius. We have to protect our geniuses. We don't have that many of them. Everybody up here is great. Everybody up here is very special. But uh, the Trump, yeah, who did you say? Oh, let me tell you, we have a new star. A star is born, Elon. Now he is. Now he's an amazing guy. We were sitting together tonight. You know, he spent two weeks in Philadelphia and different parts of Pennsylvania campaigning. You know, he sent the rocket up two weeks ago. And I saw that rocket and I saw it coming down. I saw it. It was when it left. It was beautiful, shiny white. When it came down, it didn't look so pretty. It was going 10,000 miles an hour and it was burning like hell. I said, what happened to your paint job? He said, we've never made a paint that could withstand that kind of heat. And uh, but I saw it come down and turn around. And it was, you know, it's like 22 stories tall, by the way. It looks a little smaller than that, but it's big. And it came down and down, and you saw that fire burning. And, and I'm saying, only Elon can do this. It must be an Elon. And I tell the story. I told it last night. I had a man on the phone. I had the screen muted, no sound. I was talking to a very important man, happens to be here. And that very important guy, one of the most important people in, I would say, the country, actually. But, you know, I was president, and now it looks like I was going to be maybe president again. So I figured I could ask him to hold. So I asked him to hold. And because, especially because you're going to be president again, they hold. So I took the phone down, and I'm looking at the screen. I'm seeing this crazy thing that's going around and coming down. It looks like it's going to crash into the gantry. And I said, oh, no. And I said, do me a favor. Do you mind holding for a couple of minutes? I want to see this. I thought it was a space age movie or something. I put the phone down. Bad part, I didn't pick it up for 45 minutes, and he was holding. But this spaceship came down, and I saw those engines firing, and it looked like it was over. It was going to smash. And then I saw the fire pour out from the left side, and I put it straight. And it came down so gently, and then it wrapped those arms around it, and it held it. And just like you hold your baby at night, your little baby. And it was a beautiful thing to see, and I called Elon. I said, Elon, was that you? He said, yes, it was. I said, who else can do that? Can Russia do it? No. Can China do it? No. Can the United States do it other than you? No, nobody can do that. I said, that's why I love you, Elon. That's great. And you know, when we had the tragic hurricane, Helene, and it hit, in particular, it hit North Carolina. They were really devastated, the water. This was a big water, as big as we've ever seen, water hurricane. It built lakes out of nothing. Fields became lakes, and, and the danger was unbelievable. And, the people from North Carolina came to me and they said, would it be possible, at all possible, for you to speak to Elon Musk? We need Starlink. I said, what's Starlink? It's a form of communication. So I called Elon, and I'll tell you what he had, and it was very dangerous. People would die. They had no communication. All the wires were down. I called Elon Musk. I said, Elon, you have something called Starlink. Is that right? Yes, I do. What the hell is it? He said, it's a communication system that's very good. I said, Elon, they need it really, really badly in North Carolina. Can you get it? He had that there so fast, it was incredible. So, and it was great. It saved a lot of lives. He saved a lot of lives. But he's a character, he's a special guy, he's a super genius. We have to protect our geniuses. We don't have that many of them.